I don't know if you guys have had your nose in the news lately. Um, however, if you had, then you know that there was a terrible tragedy that just happened in my home state um, of Tennessee in Nashville, where there was a shooting and um, many people died, three children, nine years old, and uh, some teachers who were in their 60s. And, um, you know, when I heard about this, obviously, you hear about the victims and you're like, well, that's terrible. Um, and then a lot of other controversy started because of the identity of the shooter, um, which turned out to be transgender, which in my mind, I'm like, I, I don't care about the identity of the shooter. Six people are dead and they shouldn't be. They were going to school, uh, not supposed to be in a war zone. Um, but nonetheless, you guys know how the internet is, and, um, you know, both sides decided to weaponize the identity of the shooter, um, them being transgender, it was, um, female, biological female, um, who wanted to identify as a man, however, I'm just going to preface this in saying I am, don't care how you want to identify as, because now you are dead, um, and you shot a bunch of kids, so I, I, you know, me personally, I don't really care how you identify, um, I don't even really want to say your name, uh, so I don't even care about your gender, I care about what you've done, um, and that you're probably burning in hell right now, but, you know, to each their own. Um, so yeah, obviously, both sides weaponize the identity of the shooter to none end. Um, you know, people on the right saying that this is a gender issue, transgender issue, this wouldn't have happened if they weren't transgender, uh, you know, they're taking testosterone, so, they're, you know, they're gonna be acting out in, uh, you know, bad ways, and, and, uh, this person needed mental help, and they needed to get the mental help, which, obviously, you need mental help if you're a school shooter, because, you know, no mentally sane person would go and kill a bunch of people in a school, um, you know, so every mass shooter has severe mental issues, so, you know, of course it is a bit of a mental issue here, and then, you know, people on the right are saying, well, the shoot, or people on the left are saying, um, oh, well, this wouldn't have happened if Tennessee didn't have those laws, uh, this is a product of a terrible system, um, you know, and you can believe what you want to about Tennessee banning, you know, the, the drag things and the drag shows and, and all these things, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, um, because no set of laws, um, banning whatever you think shouldn't be banned, uh, justifies somebody going into a school and capping off a bunch of children and, and teachers, um, you know, I believe that, you know, that is never justified, I don't know what world some people are living in, because believe it or not, some people on social media are trying to defend um, that and saying that the only reason this happened is because of Tennessee's Republican lawmakers. Um, because the, you know, the person that did the crime um, at the school, they were transgender and, and uh, Tennessee is probably one of the toughest states to be transgender in because of all the laws being introduced. Anyways, I saw a TikTok and it really rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm going to show it to you guys, and you guys can tell me what you think. Um, but basically, they're saying that we should be not dead naming the shooter and not misgendering the shooter. I hold the opinion that you shouldn't even release the shooter's names ever um, or their gender ever. I don't think that needs to be known especially if they're dead, um, you know, because unfortunately a lot of these people want to go down in history and, and, and be uh, famous. Um, that's been a reasoning of a lot of mass shooters, and, and I don't want them to be motivated by having their name and, and, and be the topics of, of uh, you know, many days of heated social media discussion. Anyways, take a look at this video. It really rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, let me know if it rubs you the wrong way. Aiden Hale, that's the name of the Nashville shooter. 
This video is about to be very uncomfortable for a lot of us. It's very uncomfortable for me to talk about, but we need to talk about it. Aiden did a very horrendous thing. Period, point blank. We need pew pew reform in our country. But the way that the media and the police are misgendering and dead naming Aiden is quite concerning. It's also concerning that I had to go to the Telegraph from UK to actually get Aiden's chosen name. It's upsetting that constantly it is she her pronouns that is incredibly frustrating because even though they did this horrible thing does not mean that we get to to do those things that's a boundary and we can hold people accountable without being transphobic even for some of the most horrendous things so while you're watching this also watch for transphobia because that's very clearly coming out aiden hale What do you see that is wrong with this creator's video, this inclusive creator on TikTok? Their big qualm with the mass pew pew that happened in Nashville is that we are misgendering the, you know, person uh, and dead naming the person um, and that we should call the... Uh, the shooter Aiden, because that was their preferred name. Um, you're not even focusing on the kids, the victims of the shooting. You're not even concerned about that. You're more concerned about us misgendering and dead naming. Who cares? You know? Who cares? I mean, did the, did, did the shooter care about the kids? names and pronouns before they put a bullet in them i don't think so why are we concerned with that why are we why are we um you know i feel like the topic of misgendering and 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 dead naming is a topic that can be tackled using you know another example why does it have to be tied to <laughs> the shooting you know it's like it's ridiculous I don't think that it's that was an appropriate thing to use to push your um, agenda, you know. I think that there are more important things to worry about when it comes to this topic, and uh, misgendering and uh, dead naming is not. I think we should be concerned about how did they get in the school, how did they get the guns, the children are dead, how can we care for their families, why are the children dead, this is disgusting, this is wrong. And I'm sorry, but I don't care if I misgender somebody that just killed a bunch of kids. I do not care. I do not care what you wanted to identify as. I do not care what you want, what your name wanted to be. You are a sick, sick person, and now you're dead. Um, you, you got the easy way out because now you don't have to be in prison for the rest of your life, probably getting the crap beaten out of you because you're one of the worst humans to ever exist, ever. Six people are dead, you know. I don't. I don't think that it is uh, appropriate to be talking about that. You know that maybe maybe that's a topic for another day. You know, I understand that this creator probably um, has issues themselves with you know misgendering and dead naming and all that stuff. And I can definitely tell just by listening to them that they have some mental issues and and they're chronically online. Um, and this is a chronically online take. And I don't think it needed to be, uh, <laughs> they, they might not have uh, anticipated the response, but I'm glad that the response online has been the way it is because we do not need to be discussing this um, about the, the shooter. I mean, I, it doesn't matter what their gender is. It doesn't matter what their name is. They did a horrible thing, and we shouldn't be focusing on that. Uh, kind of missing the point here um, to a horrible situation, but let me know what you guys think. I, I think it's an inappropriate thing to talk about. I think we should be focusing on the bigger things at hand, um, you know, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is a bit of a low energy video because I can't be enthusiastic and high energy about this. This is a terrible, terrible thing that happened. Um, and I'm not going to get political and talk about it, what we can do to stop it and, and what we can do to, you know, move on. But, you know, um, we should. We should figure out ways to stop it and, and move on. Um, 
whatever that may be. Um, you know, I know I have fans from both sides of the aisles, of uh, the political aisle, and they'll probably disagree with each other about how to fix things, but, um, you know, I am praying for Nashville and for those victims, and you guys should too if you're religious. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this video. It rubbed me the wrong way, but am I overreacting? I don't think so, but let me know if I am. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next video, which hopefully won't be as depressing as this one. Bye.